All right. I'm ready. Hi, everybody. Welcome to hey, the blog presents. Oh, no. no. I'm not ready either. <laughs> Haunted Log pre presents Cyberpunk. We're here. We're having here. a great time. I'm Shannon. <laughs> and I'm joined by... Jason! Oh, Allison. Uh, Luke. Hi, and I'm Scott. <laughs> well, uh, it's going to be a short uh, game tonight. Um... Because we've only got about an hour, and that's uh, fine, because uh, I don't really have an adventure planned. Don't uh, have a module picked out. We're just doing filler anyway. And I mean, really, when you think of it, who could who could beat an introduction like that? I think we nailed it. I think that was stellar. Other people would be like, enamored, odd just blown away by how smoothly that went. We always nail it. Hey, all the cameras are good now. Yeah. All right. Uh, does anybody remember uh, what was happening when we left off? Because there were a few things that were up in the air. Uh, Jason was digging for E.T. <laughs> Things. The key word is, or the operative word on that would have been trying to dig and find. Oh, you did go in that direction. You did find your Atari games. I... <laughs> I got a leather hat. I got uh, an air pistol. I think it was an air pistol. My rent wasn't paid, so I'm homeless now. I don't care. Yeah, that was, that was the other thing, too. We found out that we've, or, well, yeah. And I probably don't have a job anymore, so. Party Gang bought was... all tickets to the Piranhas? Yes, uh, the Piranhas is the Party Gang that uh, mm -hmm. bought the ticket to a rave, which it looks like you guys are throwing. <laughs> yes. I put on my mouse hat and was throwing a rave in an alley. <laughs> an and you're all to fashion. The gig a thousand? Are we getting paid a thousand? Um, you will after you perform the gig. Okay. Yes. Uh, but before then, you've got a rave to throw, because uh, there is a scheduled time for that to happen. Uh, it was, mm -hmm. it would have been on the invitations. So I want to know uh, how you guys are going to prepare this. Well, it's an alley. I'm going to say it's deconstruction okay. mode type thing. Um, I'm going to get a couple of flares <laughs> for light. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the, 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 and just the, sort of light is... them up along the walls. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, uh, I got the, the, the mouse hat, and uh, we're just going to blast some music. And because you're in an alley, you don't have to worry too much about the speakers, because it's just going to echo everywhere. <laughs> I'll get the booze. I assume everyone else is bringing their own drugs, so I'm not going to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I guess I will uh, provide security. And then with my paintball gun, which I got a paintball gun, like out of the Wachima thing, I'm going to shoot a couple of things around the alley for, you know, colorful decorations. And I'm accidentally going to hit um, Calvary. <laughs> Are they at least black light reactive paintballs? Gotta be. Damn right. I'm gonna oh. roll my dodge <laughs> <laughs> or evade. I'm going to say yes. Um, uh, typically, you evade uh, melee attacks, but uh, this time, since we haven't defined a range, uh, we're going to make it an evasion roll. Uh, Allison, please roll oh. an attack. You're going All to right. roll your 10th 
fighter, you're going to add your handgun skill. Handgun, handgun, handgun. Uh, I don't think I have handgun. I have shoulder arms, but not handgun. Okay, then, uh... Just a day, or, uh, reflex. Yeah, then just your reflex alone. Uh, ten. Okay. And we are using the, uh, cultural skill. So if you can, uh, tell us, if you ever don't have the skill that you want, you can mm -hmm. tell us how you uh, remembered seeing somebody in a movie or a comic book or something who did this, mm -hmm. so your character thinks that you know how you do it? Streets of Fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Streets of <laughs> Fire. All right. Add two points to your roll, then. All right. Twelve? Or do I roll 12. again? <laughs> no, no. The number is twelve. So, okay. uh, what is the evasion roll? Eighteen. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Light on his cowboy boots. <laughs> Calvary. <laughs> Calvary line dances out of the way and <laughs> and uh, makes it look smooth as uh, the paintball uh, hits the alley wall behind him. Now, this is an important distinction. What color paint are you using? Pink. Pink. All right. Okay, that will be important to your party guests. And uh, what time are you of uh, day or night are you throwing this rave? It's gotta be at night. I... Yeah, it's gotta be at night. They're the party boys, oh. so even if it's like starting at midnight or something, right? I was gonna say uh, it says uh, it says it's starting at ten, which means it's starting at twelve. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, midnight, a uh, local time. All right. Hey, Luke. Uh, yep. Is your character uh, prepping for this rave at all? Oh, uh, yeah, he's just checking out, like, local hiding spots in the alley. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to say that, uh, yes, you find a... A hiding spot on. Do you want it to be on a, a fire escape or a roof, so that you uh, have over? Maybe sewer. You want to hide inside <laughs> a dump? Okay, so I can go down. We have to. Okay. All right. So you're overlooking, and uh, Calvary said that he's going to provide security. Yeah, I'll be like the bouncer. Uh, show me your invites, and uh, if you don't, um, you have to grease the uh, grease grease the um, um. The, the wheels a little bit. <laughs> okay, how are you playing the music? You said that you were blasting the music. Mm -hmm. Well, I have that little right. helmet, the mouse helmet. You remember the mouse helmet, yes, like you... when we started? Uh. For ears, it has huge speakers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, the only uh, point, uh, the only origin point of the music is going to be on your head. Do I understand that... this, Kurt? <laughs> Did I say this was a well-planned rave? No, I said it was a rave. You know, <laughs> done it would, for it would money. Be hilarious. Wow. Could you quickly like make that Bluetooth to a bunch of headsets, and we could have a silent rave? Yeah, <laughs> and laugh at these idiots. <laughs> Plus, we could talk, yeah. and they wouldn't hear us. No, I do like the uh, speakers on the head idea, but uh, you're not going to be able to hear a darn thing during this entire event. <laughs> I think that's what her plan was. <laughs> so, Jinx, which is it going to be? 
which is it going to be either yeah. earphone speakers or uh, bluetooth sorry can yeah. hear you yes which of those two um i'm probably gonna go with the how many of them are there uh wow oh, how many tickets did did you sell did we determine that was it like 36 i think we do okay or 18 uh, 18 or 36 or something like that i think it was 36 okay all right expect twice that many to show up <laughs> Uh, should probably be the Bluetooth speakers then, um, with backup as speakers in the ears. <laughs> yeah, we probably don't have enough time to get that many headsets, so it's gonna have to be out loud music. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm gonna say, these are like Sonos of Bose, so, you know, she didn't skimp on the speakers that are in the ears. And it is in an alley. <laughs> but Yeah. <laughs> All right, I just posted a map of an alley from a different module. So uh, that is your spot, and we're going to say that the entrance onto the street is at the bottom of the map. So uh, uh, Luke, point yep. out, uh, uh, pick out, at least in your own head, uh, where you want to be uh, stationed on that map. And Jason, you um, do the same. Do we, do we, all right, I'll say maybe like where those two wooden crate things are on the left side there. Left side, okay. And I will be um, at the the where the the entrance of the alleyway is at the street because I'm I'm going to assume that that's where. The, all the party goers are going to be coming from. Can we use our vehicles to block off one side? Yes. Yes, you could do that. I think we should do that definitely. All right. We don't and... need fire exits. Why would we need that? <laughs> I would like to post up the bar at the one entrance we set up. So that way I have an exit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was just about to ask where Zara was going to be during this whole thing. So you're, you're going to be up there with me, Zara? If that's where you are, like, you could be on one side and I'll be serving drinks on the other. Sounds good. Get them while they're coming in and then get them while they're, as they leave as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My initial thought was to be in that little, like, inlet and then I'm like, there's no way to get out of there. That's dumb. That's not a Zara move. <laughs> okay. So, and, uh... What... Uh, music is it going to be pumping? EDM. I.e. electric like... dance music. <laughs> 2000s? You know, like, Dundee Sandstorm and stuff? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be, like, old stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's going I to considered, go very... I considered going with more techno, more, you know, stuff or whatever, but um, it's it doesn't seem to me to be, like, <laughs> that seems to be newer and, like, it'd be a little cleaner and a little bit more up-to-date place. I'm like, nah, we're gonna go with more rundown... <laughs> A little bit older <laughs> EDM style. <laughs> Stop. We're serving an experience. <laughs> okay, everyone, I want you to each give me a D100 roll. We're going to determine percentile. You two ten siders. 49. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, nine. Uh, the first uh, party goers to show up is a group of nomads. A group of nomads equal to the players plus two from the wild man pack. 
arrive. So that's going to be uh, six nomads uh, come rolling up. Uh, they arrive in some dune buggies uh, straight out of the uh, Vegas desert. Uh, they step out. They dust themselves off, uh, walk away, leaving a cloud of dust behind them. <laughs> like Mad Max style. Um, I was almost thinking Buster Buster uh, Scruggs ver, uh, version where he comes in, walks in, and goes, <laughs> and the dust is kind of then... <laughs> dust cloud. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, you're in Vegas right now, so I'm going to say that uh, this group uh, look uh, more like uh, imitation cowboys. <laughs> They got the hat. Um, they've got the hat. They've got the spurs, even though they don't have horses. And uh, mm -hmm. they're wearing their and otherwise they're wearing their nomad leathers. Gotcha. Maybe with a little extra fringe. And they show. They go uh, right up to cavalry, and one of them flashes the phone, which has the invite, which has the. Uh, uh, ticket on it. All right, you're in. What about the others? Thanks, partner. And he says, "Oh, this is my posse. Uh, this is my per this is my uh, personal protection. They don't go anywhere without me." They have tickets. Um, let me, let me see if he's going to try to BS you. Uh, he, he says, oh, uh, yeah, they bought tick, uh, I bought tickets for them. Uh, they just didn't, they just, uh, didn't bring their agents with them. Well, I need to see the tickets. Or, 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 or you know, I mean, just maybe if, if, if I got, I got to see the tickets. Oh, come on, partner. You saw my ticket. It was good. Yeah, yeah. Your, yours, yours, yours is yours is good. No, 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 no problem. But th these other guys, I mean, if they want to come in and and partake of the festivities, it's I I I I have to have have to have proof or or something to, in order to to allow them in. Zara's gonna holler. Money talks, Podna. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, he's going, now he's going to uh, reach into his pocket and says, Oh, I think I got them here. Oh, here they are. They're inside this uh, 20 Eddie bill. That'll get three of them in. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a face down roll. That is a D10 plus your cool plus your reputation. Cool. So, you, know, say, you know, say you said cool and what my reputation is? Yes. All right. So I rolled a 10 on the first roll. So do I, do I roll again? Yes, you do. Okay. Add 7 to that. Plus my cool, so 24. And reputation is at 4 as well. So... Um, Holy smokes, you only had to beat a 10. <laughs> yeah, I'm like almost close to 30. <laughs> okay, he says, all right, all right. Uh, did I say the uh, 20 Eddie Bill? I meant this 100 Eddie Bill. It's okay, Podna. Uh, all right, okay, yep. Uh, you guys are all good. Okay. Hey, Luke, what did you roll on your D100? Uh, 84? 84. Uh, if anybody at home is wondering, I am uh, consulting the Midnight Encounters in Night City table from the rule book. Uh, 
Okay, uh, this is... Uh, four bozos uh, show up. Uh, bozos are a street gang uh, that dress like clowns. I was going to say, and, oh, uh, good. We're bringing in the clowns. <laughs> Thanks. That's, that's great. I'm so happy there are clowns there. <laughs> they show up in the white face paint and giant shoes, and they are carrying what look like uh, giant water guns, like super soakers. <laughs> and they said, and one of them says, hey, honk, 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 honk. No <laughs> Tickets, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They say, oh, okay, this guy's all right. And uh, they each take out um, a disposable phone and uh, show you on the screen uh, the tickets that they bought. All right. Okay. And they go in. Uh, Shannon, what did you roll on your I, D100? I rolled for the Nomads, I think. I had 4 yeah. 49. Oh, that's okay. That's yeah. right. you know me. I get a blurt out when I roll. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Jason, what did you roll? Fifty six. Fifty six. Ooh, more nomads. And uh, this group uh, looks like uh, they did come off right off of the set of a Mad Max movie. <laughs> they show up on. Uh, Motorbikes, they're all decked out in black leather and chains, and uh, one of them e even has the uh, silver uh, spray paint all over his mouth. <laughs> Teeth and everything. That's it. Hi! Oi, where the Maxes? Tickets, please. All right, all right. And let's see how many tickets they brought. Um, and uh, these guys uh, try the same trick that the last group of nomads did. They show you <laughs> one ticket. All right. So, uh, who is is the leader? The one that, who's got the the silver spray paint on his face, or is that a different guy? No, it's the guy who uh, has been biosculpted to look exactly like Mad Max. All right. Which All right. It's uh, from um, uh, Fury Road. All right. Well, okay. You, 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 you're, you're good. Uh, Mr. Silverface, he's good. But the, the others, I need tickets for. Okay. And the one who looks like Tina Turner says... Oh, I'm on the list. <laughs> By the okay. way, the list they that Jinx made just said any stray cats, any stray dogs. That's it. That's all <laughs> that's on the list. Sorry, uh, in this case, two men enter. Uh, no one leaves. <laughs> okay, and then uh, the mat, and then uh, the silver face uh, uh, pulls out a disposable phone and says, "Oh no, here it is!" And he shows you a uh, duplicate of the very first ticket that you that was shown to you. That was the first. That was the I, I've that this ticket's already been used. I said, That's right. That means it's good. Yeah, for the person who used it prior. <laughs> okay. Uh, they pay you another 20 eddies. Yeah, because you said there was just four of them on, on this one, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> okay, they go in. Uh, Allison, what did you roll on your D100? I rolled a 37. 37. Ooh. 
an edge run. This is gonna be the great. This is gonna be the good party guess, right? This is gonna be the party guess for everybody wants, right? Right, Scott. Right. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, they show up uh, very armed, uh, but they look like they're ready to party. Uh, the uh, a team of danger gal agents uh, shows up. Mm-hmm. And uh, they are, yeah, uh, they are edge runners like you guys. Uh, they work for a mega corporation called uh, Danger Gal Investigations. And they are known because they each wear cat ears. Some of them Already are my best. And some of them uh, wear them as like uh, head armor. <laughs> I am already impressed, okay? I, I'm already sold on this particular <laughs> How many are there? Oh. Let me roll a six-sider here. Because, no, no, wait. That's specified already. A team of, okay, one net runner, one solo, and one nomad. So three of them. And they do have their tickets. Oh. Well. Okay. We're back. I think that I lost audio there for a second. Oh. All right. Well. All right. Uh, you know, the, these these tickets are valid. Enjoy uh -huh. yourselves. Okay. All right, and the girl I just showed you with the cat ears and purple hair says, uh, thank you very much, you tall drink of water, you. And she winks at you. I'll doff my hat. <laughs> <laughs> you still heartbroken after a rich girl back in the city? <laughs> That, that, and then I'm extremely uh, leery and um, trigger shy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then about 10 tourists show up, and uh, they show up wearing their uh, uh, Hawaiian shirts and, and sandals, and they just all uh, walk out, all uh, walk there from one of the casinos, and we'll say that all of them have their tickets. And they wander in, and half of them are already drunk. And then the piranhas show up. Piranhas. Uh, they show up in a party van, which has this logo painted onto the side of it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that it's it's a piranha that is pink and blue with both the piercings in the fins and the 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 fins themselves the upper fins look like a mohawk. So Yeah, they show up uh they uh more than anyone else uh except maybe the bozos look like they are dressed for a rave. There are... <laughs> uh, they all have their tickets, and uh, you're approached uh, specifically by uh, these two NPCs. First is a big guy whose hair is... Well, he's got big hair, and he wears a kind of a hockey mask. And he's carrying a machine gun on uh, on his shoulder. And he is... Uh, I thought it was going to be a, a machete and you were going to go full Friday the 13th on it. He has this... Okay, he also has got a machete on his hip. Because I like that idea. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm going to calm to Calvary and say, you know, we really should have probably taken their weapons away. 
and, I, and I'll just destroy it. What does it matter? We're here at the edge, and the and and the beast is just right down the on, on the side there. You and I can get out here real quick. Mm, ten four. <laughs> okay, and his tech hair is pulsing and changing colors with the music that's coming out of the alley. Nice. And he is the bodyguard who is uh uh putting the who is leading around what is clearly the leader of this group, which is that little girl right there. Perfect. <laughs> she is about half of his height, and but uh, she walks in the lead, and everyone in the Piranha Gang, uh, whenever she speaks, they all shut up and shut up and listen to her. And she asks, so, uh, what party favors do you have at this establishment? Now, this is just an off-the-cuff, so any party favors you find will be in the, the alleyway itself. Uh, feel free to partake of our, our bar up over here, and just uh, enjoy yourselves. How many of those E.T. games did you get, Jason? Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then... <laughs> the, the the party favors are a hide-and-seek, so if, if, if you find something cool in the alleyway, it's a party favor. <laughs> oh! All right. Uh, then uh, the girl in the pigtails turns around and she shouts to and she shouts to her crew, "Easter egg hunt!" Ho! Oh! <laughs> and all of the piranhas uh, charge into the alleyway. <laughs> and the big guy—I'm just going to tell you his name. His name is Bazooka Joe. He pulls out a couple of smoke grenades in two different colors. <laughs> lights them over his head, and tosses them into the alley. Nice. Do any land near me? Uh, let me roll a ten-sider, and on a ten, the answer is yes. It is a one. They are nowhere near you. Good. Absolutely <laughs> nowhere near you. But I am uh, curious, uh, Luke, uh, which direction it, uh, is there anyone that Zeke is particularly watching. In the entire party. Because I got plans. I can hear you. Okay. <laughs> he said he's got plans. Oh. He's got plans? <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Ah. Is okay. he going to use his laser sight to, to uh, kind of make a laser show <laughs> through the smoke grenades? <laughs> I kind of am <clears throat> going to use the smirk as a cover so I can become a master rogue. Oh, ho, ho. Whoa. Slowly rub everybody. <laughs> okay, uh, just let me know whenever you'd like to start trying that. Well, when the music picks up, you know, like everyone's starting to get a little bit more drunk, you know, you know what I mean? Okay, let's do that right now then. <laughs> okay, um There is not Do a... the smoke bombs have any hallucinogenic qualities to them? <laughs> Only because I didn't think of it. No. Uh they're <laughs> uh they're getting all of their hallucinogens um through uh uh, what they're drinking and uh, what they are injecting into themselves. <laughs> yeah, and there is quite a lot of that going on. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, they're uh buying. Uh, the piranhas are buying drinks uh from the bar, and then they're adding their own concoctions into the drinks. <laughs> How does Zara feel about that? She don't care as long as they're paying. 
She also, <laughs> also has her bow on her back. Nice. I okay. I also have this image of the tourist in the um like the you know um Hawaiian shirts as also being like Aaron head types <laughs> who keep shouting, play Margaritaville! Play Margaritaville! <laughs> I will cut you off. <laughs> no more margaritas for you. <laughs> Frozen concoction, not on tap. <laughs> Zara's not really keen to actually cut anyone off because <clears throat> she knows drunk people <laughs> and stone people spend more money. <laughs> Uh, hey, Luke. Um, well, uh, with all of that going on, you're going to have uh, no trouble uh, filtering through a few pockets. Uh, you're a. Uh, would you like to please roll a D100 a couple of times, and we'll see what it is that you were able to loot. Like two or three times? Uh, yeah, a couple of times, but uh, tell me what it is that, okay. that you rolled. So each the first time. time was 52. 52. The second time was 100. Wow, a natural 100? Yeah. That's impressive. <laughs> is it the same rules? If you roll a natural, you get a reroll? And add to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, this, this chart only goes up to 100, so uh, <laughs> that would be pointless. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, on second thought, yes, uh, roll it again, and uh, that way you're going to get uh, three pieces of loot instead of two. Uh, 48. 48. 48. Okay, uh, First you, uh, thing that you were able to find in somebody's pocket, and you don't know why this was in somebody's pocket, is a cyber eye. Like an eyeball. And it does have a, a option. It has a uh, chip slot for uh, holding a tiny little data chip as storage. Mostly for smuggling purposes. Uh, the second item that you were able to get was a medtech bag, which is worth about 100 eddies. Uh, it's a premium item. You thought that it was a purse. When you grab it, uh, you look inside and you're like, oh, there's like an air hypo in here and gauze and... Uh, uh, this is a full medical kit. And then the, uh, third item that you got is a package of street drugs worth exactly 50 eddies. So you got a little bag of drugs, and you don't know yet, uh, what drugs these are. And that came out of the pocket of one of the piranhas. Now here's the fun part. Uh, when somebody made that uh, really high roll for determining uh, who, which NPCs showed up, I think it was an 89, uh, that entry in the table is actually for a gang war. So uh, the bozo showed up with the Luke, intention of Luke, starting a fight. I believe you party. had the high roll. Luke? <laughs> Rolling high is not always good. War meets money. 
<laughs> so then, um... So you brought in the clowns, and then you brought in the little gang war. <laughs> Above even the noise of... No, wait, this is a silent rave, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You decide... Uh, okay. Oh, did we? I thought we were having yeah. like little Bluetooth speakers that played out. We had the headphones. Oh, okay. Okay. I can't believe that I didn't make you pay for that ahead of time. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> okay. Uh, in this case, everybody hears it. A blood-curdling scream comes up from uh, the far end of the alley. Near where the cars are parked. Towards the entrance. I'm looking around. <laughs> no, no, opposite the entrance. Oh, opposite, okay. And the bar? Uh, back in. And the bar? No. The bar's in the front. Oh, the bar's in the front. I thought the bar was in the back for some reason. Oh, Sorry. no, Zara wants her exit. So she doesn't give a shit about this scream. If, like, all chaos is not breaking out, I'm staying at the bar. Uh, where is uh, Jinx located in this alley? Oh, center. Like, look, the, the, the sense of self-preservation disappears when it's a rave. She's in the middle of everything. <laughs> Okay, uh, Luke, your character is closest. Uh, give me a perception roll. Uh, and I've got the bonus two for my ability, remember? Oh, great. Okay. Uh, you only have to beat an 11. And it's the insider, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Insider, add your perception, add your extra two points from being a solo. I think you went mute. 20. Oh, there you go. No, I was calculating. Mouthing. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. I was calculating. <laughs> All right. Uh, since you beat a 10, you were able to tell uh, who just got injured. Had you beaten a 20, I would have also told you who uh, was the assailant. But uh, one of the piranhas... Uh, just screamed and hit the ground, uh, not far from where you're standing. Uh, this character was just hit by an acid attack and melted his face off. Ooh, that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, didn't he just steal a med, ta med set? <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know how to use it, but... <laughs> yeah, my first day's pretty bad. It's only a four. So, uh, that's better than the two points that you would have gotten from your using your cultural skill. Yeah. <laughs> so you do have some remedial first aid training. <laughs> okay. So, so, what you doing? Um, I'm just gonna move back, like, from my position where I was, I'm just gonna move back towards those, uh, like, crate-looking things in the alley. Kind of duck down. <laughs> okay, Allison, another one of the piranhas. Mm -hmm. Uh, this one, uh, uh -huh. about knocks you over, uh, uh, running past you and body blocks into you on her way towards the back of the alley. Rude. <laughs> Again, fairly oblivious because I got the mouse hat on. <laughs> but, um... Uh, so I'm still standing up and just kind of, uh, glancing over there, uh, at the back of the alley. Okay, from the center of the alley, you can't really tell, uh, what's going on. 
but it looks mm -hmm. like everyone is turned their attention to uh, one particular spot and they're looking downward. All right. Something on the ground. I'm going to grab another flare and kind of throw it over there so it lights up that part of the alley. <laughs> the solid <All> flame. Right. <laughs> okay, we're going to count this as a thrown weapon. So roll me a D10 and add your athletic skill. Athletic. Athletic? Okay. Yeah, I think it's a dexterity skill. So I got a five plus uh, a thirteen. <laughs> Wait, do I add dex to that too, or just athletics? Um, you cut out. The answer is yes. Okay, that is going to be a eighteen. Okay, it was a great toss. You're able to uh toss your flare, and it sort of lands on a fire escape uh, directly over the crowd and uh, lights up the area. And yeah, you can see, you can now see that there is a guy. He's wearing the uh, gang colors of the piranhas, and he is writhing on the ground. Great. Um, uh, all right. I'm going to look over at Zara and Calvary and say, would one of you two go, like, move the guy whose face is melting off? Pretty sure it's no one else is coming in, Calvary, as I'm, like, trying to serve all these people. <laughs> I'm like, it's, it's throwing off the vibe, okay? It's throwing off the vibe. <laughs> would my knowledge of of uh the the different gangs and everything would would i know if this was something that the uh the party boys would they would want help with or is this something that they expect to happen uh, uh on on their at wherever they're at or Okay, you don't know much about the Las Vegas gangs, but uh, the Piranhas are, because they move around from place to place, do spend a lot of time in Night City. You might know this. So I want you to roll me a Tinsider plus local knowledge or criminology, your choice. Okay. And uh, your uh, target number is going to be a 15. All right, I'll end up using criminology. <laughs> Ten. Whoa. On the first roll, plus nine. <laughs> and then my, oh my. My, my my criminology of another 13, so 32. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why can't I roll like this in battle? <laughs> Okay, Calvary actually knows a lot about these uh, characters. Um, the three NPCs who I showed you pictures of, uh, they are from Night City. They're just on the on the road. Vacation? They yeah. are... Okay, the girl with pigtails is Corpse Reviver. She is the new leader of the Piranhas. Then uh, her bodyguard is Bazooka Joe. Uh, he's a uh, good-hearted but uh, kind of dumb uh, muscle type. And uh, the person who just bumped into Jinx is uh, Dirty Shirley. Uh, she is a medic, and she is a pharmacist, and she makes all of the Piranha's uh, signature street drugs. You also know, to answer your question, that yes, the Piranhas would accept help. They okay. are a violent gang, but typically in uh, matters of self-defense. You start a fight with them, they will take the fight to you. All right, well then, with that being down. the case, then I will go ahead and I'll, I'll go up and... 
uh, kind of like, get the guy some space. Back up, back up. Anyone have anyone here a medic? Okay, that would be great if they didn't all have the headphones on and couldn't hear you. <laughs> we can put an announcement through the Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> if Jason asks nicely, I will put an announcement through the Bluetooth. <laughs> the thing is, is are you going to be able to hear me? <laughs> I can see you through the thing. <laughs> Can't we patch in with our comms? Yes. Yeah, but you're assuming I'm going to let you. <laughs> true. That's true. <laughs> I need a medic! And as far as Zara knows, someone just had too much. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to ask if Zara is going to stay at her bar. Oh yeah, I'm but, staying at the yeah, bar. She's, she's, I think yeah, she's that maybe, serving. Like, I... Well, I could probably hear the screams of agony, couldn't I? Jinx, tell yep. to put over the comm if we need an, an, someone who's a medic. What's the magic word? Now! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shannon, uh, one of the... Another one of the piranhas... Who is wearing a party mask? And I will will post a picture of this one to the Discord. Uh, walks up to the bar and uh, very calmly says, uh, "Yes, please. I would like a bottle of your strongest alcohol." <laughs> um, how this, much would that? This is going to turn into a malt health cocktail. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what he's going to do. <laughs> I'm not sure that under all of this um, work she's doing, being pulled a bunch of different ways, you know how a busy a bartender can get. I don't think that would occur to her. So okay. my question we'll say, is, like, how much would that cost? We'll say 10 eddies. That's it? Okay, then I'm going the to look at this guy and be like, 25 eddies. <laughs> And I'll hold a bottle in my hand. Uh, give me a persuasion roll. I don't have that. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh. It's on. I yeah, rolled a hundred. Let me roll that again. <laughs> wow. A nine <laughs> plus eight, seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Uh, more than adequate. Um, he gives you 30 eddies because, and says, here, keep the change. Ever so kind of you, sir. Please come back anytime and I'll hand him the bottle. And then standing <laughs> right in front of you, he start, He takes out an old oily rag and, shoves, and starts shoving it into the bottle. Okay, if I see that, I want to grab the bottle back. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, he wasn't expecting that, so uh, there's no con no contested roll. You simply party snap foul. <laughs> we, I mean, I condone unnecessary violence, but we are not going to set this entire rave on fire, sir. It's too early in the evening for that. No, I need you to leave my bar. <laughs> that is going to be a uh, another face down roll. Roll me a ten cider, add your cool and your reputation. Alright, so fifteen. Uh yep, that beat his eleven. So, um uh He puts his hands up, he backs down, and he said and he says, Kill Joy. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to make my money here, and then I'm gonna get on comms and be like, uh, guys, piranhas are trying to make Molotov cocktails back here. All right, I do an announcement. I'm gonna go ahead and do an announcement when I hear Molotov cocktails. Yeah. I'm like, all right, okay. people, listen up. If you don't settle down, I will play Margaritaville <laughs> on repeat. Everybody's gonna calm down now. 
or it's Margaritaville time. And the, the tourists are like, yeah. Yes, they <laughs> and are. Everyone else, and everyone else is like, <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, the Piranha's doctor, who's named Dirty Shirley, uh, she uh, injects some uh, painkillers into the guy who's on the ground screaming. And as she's doing this, she yells, Who did this? Anybody answering? Nope. So I'm gonna look. Around, I'm gonna look around. It's like, which one of you assholes did this? I mean, did you stop the music, or are we just talking to a bunch of people? Like, no, we read the announcement and then kept the music going. Okay. All right. Jinx, uh, I think we need another announcement to ask uh, who the hell is throwing acid and maybe kill the music for a bit. <laughs> God, you guys are just completely screwing up the vibe, okay? Well, I'm not already know how to called rate. Killjoy. Might as well roll with it. <laughs> okay, and I like lower the music so there's like a beat yeah. underneath like when I'm talking and I'm like, alright, who brought the acid to the party? Not like, like the fun acid, but like the, you know... <laughs> Screaming burns acid. One of the bozos points at Silverface and says, he did it. Uh-huh. He doesn't even have anything that contains acid, bozo. <laughs> I was wondering if anyone was going to remember the super soakers. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I did. <laughs> And yes, I figured I'll, they I'll did pull my finger acid up. in them. Pull the other one. <laughs> you see, is that yes, not in the corner? Sorry, uh, All right, Luke, what was that? I, I'm got, on the comms. I'm going to tell Calvary uh, disarm the bozos of their acid-filled super soakers now, or this is going to get bad. All plastic. Firearms on the ground now. <laughs> and as soon as he's done uh, saying that, I crank the music back up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and after Calvary says this, um, uh, about uh, half of the people in the alley pull out these uh, cheap 3D printed uh, plastic <laughs> pistols and toss them on the ground. And you just got guns littered all over. <laughs> Not quite what I was going for, but and I'll you, take and it. And you thought we didn't have party favors. <laughs> Did the bozos, though? No, the bozos did not throw away their super soakers. Calvary, how's it going? Do you need backup? Not yet, but be on standby. All right, you bozos. Super soakers are plastic firearms. Put them on the ground now. He forgot to honk. <laughs> honk, honk. Now. And uh, the uh, a bozo uh, turns around and uh, gets right in Calvary's face and says, and grabs his crotch and says, honk this. And I'll just discreetly <laughs> knee right up <laughs> as hard as I can. Oh, and okay. what are you going to say when you knee him? Honk, honk. Honk, honk. <laughs> no, it'll be... Loop, loop. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to call for a face down roll, but that's an attack. So go ahead and roll me your tin cider. And, oh, uh, add your brawling skill. Nope. 
19. Okay, I don't think he's going to need to evade that. Oh, no. Nope, not quite. Came close, but not quite. What is Calvary's body stat? Let's see here. Seven. Seven. Okay. Oh. Woo. Roll 3d6 for damage. Ten. Okay, ten. How many sixes did you roll? Zero. Okay. How much HP does a bozo's crotch have? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I think the more apt question would be, how many hit points does the the mini bozo on the bozo have? <laughs> Okay, uh, this bozo has uh, 20 hit points total, so he is now very wounded. And uh, he drops to his knees. He's ready to give up the plastic super summoner yet, or is he still trying to hold on to it? <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, you connected so well that uh, you uh, were able to... Uh, tell how much cyberware he has inside. Because <laughs> you pushed in that deeply. And uh, he does not have any. Uh, the piranhas have kind of a lot, but not that one. Okay, violence has been initiated. I want everyone to give me an initiative roll. That's going to be a d10 plus your reflex. And, uh, Shannon, add two points for your speedware, your cybernetics. Thirteen. Good night. Fourteen. Oh, it's seventeen. Woo. Okay, you guys, I think that you beat all of the NPCs. Yes, you did. So all of the player characters go before all of the NPCs. Uh, uh, Luke, I think you got the highest roll with a 17. Alright, sweet. Sweet. So, you can either take an action or you can hold your action. Uh, I'm just gonna pull out my heavy pistol, pistol. and hold the action for when someone gets, uh, I'd say when someone attacks Calvary. Okay. Alright. Uh... So, uh, you are fast drawing your pistol, and, uh, that's absolutely ready. Go ahead and, um, uh, roll me a D100 to see how many eddies you were able to get from pit po from pickpocketing. Yeah. You got your two I- no, you got three items, and you also got a few eddies. It'll be a 52. Okay, you got 52 eddies. Sweet. You can add that to your character sheet. All right, so that was a 17. Did anyone roll a 16? <clears throat> Did anyone uh, roll a 15? Jason rolled a 14. All right, Jason, you're up. All right, so I'm going to grab... The, the the guy that I just knocked down on the on the ground. Yeah. By basically the scruff of the neck, like the collar of his of his shirt, and just start dragging him towards the 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 the, the exit of the, the alley to the street. <laughs> okay. Um Yeah, that's going to be a grapple. So give me the same <laughs> So, uh, roll just like you did last time. Use your new right. roll skill. 19. 19. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's going to beat his evasion. Yep, that beats his evasion. So, uh, yeah, you've got him, uh, by 
uh, you've got him in whatever type of ho of lock or hold that you want, and you can move him up to your own movement. Uh, what cool. is what is Calvary's movement score? Six. Six. Okay, that'll get you halfway out the alley. That'll get you from the back uh, to the midpoint, which is uh, roughly where Jinx is located. All right. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, Shannon, were you on a 13? Yes. Okay. Zara is up. Zara's going to jump up on the bar and look down her <laughs> scope and her crossbow and make sure that there's no other bozos following Calvary out. And as she does this, she's going to kind of side-eye everyone waiting for drinks and say, bar service is taking a break. Touch my booze, I aim at you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they are obeying at the moment. But uh, since you are looking through your scope, uh, you will notice that uh, one of the other bozos has maneuvered behind the Piranha Doctor. Uh, and... I would like to take a shot at that one, if I could, please, into this crowd of people that I'm sure I won't hit. <laughs> well, uh, so is the other one who rolls just as bad as Calvary during battle. <laughs> Oh, hey Shannon. Uh, where? How are you using your solos combat awareness points? I don't know what that means. Okay, that is your roll ability, and uh, you can do a few things with that, like uh, Zed is put his into his uh, perception. You can put it into I uh. Bonus to damage, a bonus to strike. Let's do a bonus to strike. Or your ability to soak damage. Yeah, bonus to strike. Okay. Um, I think that's going to give you another plus, an additional plus one. Or my archery skill? Yeah. Plus, you've got another plus one from your scope. Yep. So I've got a total of 16 before I roll. So if I fuck this up, it's a me. That's going to be a 19. <laughs> it was a three. It wasn't a one. <laughs> <laughs> I need I a am... perk that I can't roll ones. <laughs> Precision attack for three points. Yes. Okay. Uh, I was correct. It is a plus one to your attack. And that leaves you with one uh, leftover point, uh, so we'll put that into uh, spot weakness, and that means you're going to get one other point to your damage roll. Okay. Okay, at yeah, your current range, you have uh, your uh, strike roll is very accurate, so go to the damage roll, add one additional point. Twelve. I did not well, roll any sixes. I don't know if that matters. Uh, does matter. So, um, yeah, you were able to uh put this uh crossbow bolt right into the uh uh chest of the bozo who was uh sneaking around backwards. Okay, and then I'll kind of look at the people waiting for drinks and be like, see that? Don't touch my booze. <laughs> okay. A bozo is not dead, but uh, he is acting very hurt. Did that get the medics, the doctor's attention that, hey, he was 
creeping up on that person? Yes, it did. Okay, good. Well, uh, uh, not necess uh, not necessarily what uh, uh, the sound of the impact, but the arterial blood spray <laughs> <laughs> that went all over the doctor and everyone else in the front <laughs> row. <laughs> that, that did. <laughs> That definitely did get the attention. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Okay, that leaves Jinx. Yes. <clears throat> okay, you're... Oh, would you like to take an action? Well, first off, I'm turning off the headset to the two bozos who annoyed me and are <laughs> now injured. <laughs> like, party's over for YouTube jackasses. Everything is fine, but no. Um, how's everyone else in the party except for, so the piranhas are? You got the medic back there, and who's helping the acid face dude? Right. Yes. Okay. That's right. <clears throat> and bozos. Any more bozos hanging around there? Or are they kind of clearing out a bit? Uh, you saw that there were three of them who came in, and there is a third bozo somewhere. Give me a perception roll. Uh, is that a tensider? Yeah. Tensider, add your perception skill. Perception. Uh, 14. Oh, I was going to ask you to beat a 13. That's just enough. Nice. Yeah, uh, you found the final, you found the third bozo. Uh, the third bozo is, uh, trying to, uh, sneak up behind you right now. I crank up the music in his headset so loud it, <laughs> it's gonna nearly, it's gonna pretty much deafen him. <laughs> Don't. Don't mess with the person who has the volume control. <laughs> I, I I thought you were gonna say that you're gonna have him or you're gonna start playing like Sweet Caroline or something like that in his headset. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm I... just gonna make him <laughs> only if just you shoot crank on it. beat. No. <laughs> that that or else Milli Vanilli. <laughs> I think that Jinx t probably tends to over engineer uh, all of her equipment. <laughs> So, uh, you just blew out both of this guy's eardrums. Yeah. <laughs> Ears are literally bleeding right now. I just, yeah, I look at him, I'm like, oh, we're gonna be Mr. Sneaky Sneaky! How'd that work? <laughs> Stupid big shoes! <laughs> well, he definitely is not hearing that. <laughs> oh, so I'm just, I just look at him and, you know, thumb my nose at him and... Go. <laughs> okay. Uh now um hmm. I've got uh three wounded bozos. It just thundered really loud here. <laughs> it just thundered like really loud here. <laughs> I didn't like uh, nowhere. I am so sorry that our audio didn't pick that up. That would have been great sound effects. <laughs> That's production value right there. I'm going to uh so you've got uh three bozos. I'm going to say that one of them is going to take an action and try to break free from Calvary's grip. And that's not gonna be good enough. So don't even bother rolling against me. Alright. Okay. That means that the uh uh danger gals are up next. Uh, but they don't have anything to do. Uh, they're just, uh, putting their backs against the walls and drawing their own weapons. Uh, which means the piranhas go last. Now, the big guy, Bazooka Joe, 
uh, looks around, uh, and puts his arm out in front of uh, the uh, pigtailed girl, corpse reviver, and he shouts, Bush! Shouts what? Ambush. A-M-B-U-S-C-H. Okay, I, I missed the first part. I thought it was Bush. <laughs> I thought you said Bush, and I was like, Bush? I was like, Bush? Are they freaking Russian or something? I was like, Bush? Is he hiding behind a bush? Turning himself into a bush? Like, there's a... <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> One of the uh, tourists shouts, Yeah, Borscht! <laughs> I'm hungry! Oh, you can eat my face! <laughs> okay, Dirty Shirley is going to pull out her SMG, and she is going to attempt to shoot the bozo, who is bleeding behind her. Oh, oh, might hit. Yes, she does. But uh, it's not a very good damage roll. Uh, she mere, uh, she merely shaves off some more hit points of the from the bozo who already took the crossbow bolt. So that guy kind of slumps against the wall, the back wall. Which, uh, wait a minute, uh, you're using your cars to bop, to block the back of the alley, right? Yep. yep. So, okay, he slumps up against the limo. <laughs> My <baby. laughs> that's not the first or the last blood that's going to get on that vehicle, Calvary. True, but still, that means I have to wash her again. He's got that <laughs> arrow sticking out, and he might scratch it. Exactly. Zara's gonna just yeah. roll her eyes. Especially after Jinx gave it that whack paint job. <laughs> I think you mean gorgeous paint job. <laughs> okay, that leaves Corpse Reviver. She is pulling out. Two pistols of her own. She's got two small pistols that look like this. This is the Sanro Hello Cutie. <laughs> and she is going to open fire on the same bozo. And if she misses, then uh, damage is going to go to the limo this time. Miss, miss, miss. Uh, let's see, maybe weapon. Where is your handgun? Handgun. Handgun 16. Holy smoke, she is good with a handgun. Yeah, she's not missing. Uh, her. Her uh, gun makes a distinctive purring sound as it spits uh, at least four bullets into this guy. Uh, no critical injuries, but, uh, that is enough to deplete the rest of his hit points. Uh, so she shoots him here, 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 and here. And you fall. Sure <laughs> I go, Calvary, just, like, shove him under the limo. Like, he's, it's really kind of depressing having a dead clown around. Okay, now all of the other NPCs who uh, have who haven't done anything yet start charging out of the alley towards the entrance. So Zara, they're heading straight for you. It's a stampede. Well, I mean, I've got a bar I'm standing on, right? Yes. Which I was a stampede of Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> I was imagining that you had set up a like a card table oh. with fold eggs. <laughs> okay, well, if it's a pop-up unsturdy bar, I'm going to hop down and I'm going to hug the wall where the booze is. No, no, you tell me. You tell me how you set it up. Well, I'm I I was kind of 
for I mean, some you got reason, a lot of pallet boxes in there, right? I would have figured reason, that we would have used crates, the crates that were in the, the alley and all that, yeah. so it would have been somewhat sturdy and, and everything. Let's do that, okay. because for some reason I was thinking like a rock bar, but we would not have done that. But I'm still, if I see a stampede coming towards me, I think the best bet is to hop down and protect the booze. Protect the booze! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hey Luke, it's your turn again. All right. What is um, that? Do I'm gonna head towards right. the buzz that just died. Okay, then you're going to have to move against the flow of the crowd. You're going to have to muscle your way through. You okay yeah, with that? I got athletics. All right, roll me your athletics or brawling. Your choice. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, they're both base 14, so... 14, woo! Okay. <laughs> uh, you only have to beat a 15 on this roll, so if you roll better than a 1, you're gonna pass. Uh... Um, I don't get no additional bonuses. Uh... That's a 23. 23. Okay. You can move. And nine. All right. Uh, you're swimming through this crowd. Uh, <laughs> but I'll give you your choice. You're either elbowing your way through the crowd or you're crowd surfing on top of it. I'll crowd surf. Crowd <laughs> surf. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're, you bounce. Uh, you kind of uh, bounce up on on top of the crowd, and uh, you're running over their heads and shoulders across. I just your... I, I, I'm I'm visualizing Crocodile Dundee at the end of the movie when he's stand standing and walking on all the 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 commuters' heads to get to to get to the 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 lady. <laughs> Uh, what is your movement rate? Uh, eight. Eight. Okay, yep. All right, that is... I couldn't ask for a higher movement rate than that. Uh, you're... <laughs> so I'm going to say that you're moving more than your eight spaces. You're clearing the entire uh, alleyway <laughs> in one turn. So at the end of your action, you're able to arrive uh, just exactly anywhere you want to be. Uh, I'll go towards the towards van. The if van it's at the back there. Okay. Yep, the van and the limo are both at the back. Yeah. That's it, it takes both vehicles to block the alleyway. Okay. Do you want to be standing on the van or next to the van on the ground? Stay on top of the van. On top of the van, okay. You've got the height advantage, then. Okay, uh... Calvary. Alright, I'm still... Still, uh, dragging this, uh... The, the nutted, or denutted, uh, bozo... Out of the... <laughs> out of the, the, the alley... Okay, uh, uh, you moved uh, half of the alley distance uh, your last turn, and this turn you move the rest of the alley distance. Uh, you're able to drag them out. Uh, what are you doing with them what, after you get them out? <laughs> Basically going to just throw them out into the middle of the road. Okay, uh, roll me a tinsider on an odd roll. Um, he's going to get hit by traffic. Oh, <laughs> Roll a four. He lands in traffic, but the vehicles just drive like over him. They're all tall. You should have lied about that one. I almost <laughs> did, but it's like I, I better know. not. Same. <laughs> well, um, 
Do you want to burn a or little? Or else he lands on the sidewalk and some bikes crawl over him. No, I, 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 I take it. I, I take enjoyment seeing his eyes just get <laughs> larger than saucers as oncoming traffic is uh, swerving around him. Okay. As he's as, as he's sitting there going, oh god. <laughs> okay, a big heavy trash truck comes barreling down the road and hits its brakes and screeches and comes to a stop just this far away from its big red nose. And can I run out there real quick and just shove his head into it and go so that way his nose goes into it and, and honk? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Otherwise, I would do the Mr. Miyagi thing and, and come up and... Uh, do it to do the, the nose twist. Herk! <laughs> okay, it's about quitting time for me now. So I'm going mm-hmm. to say that uh, that was the last of the combatants. Um, the uh, uh, the piranhas uh, uh, take the uh, remaining two bozos with them and they leave, but on their way out, uh, they say, uh, Good party. You should come to one of ours sometime. I'm down. If I don't have to work and I can enjoy it. (laughs) Yeah, they point at Jinx and say, You're great. (laughs) That's what I told everybody. Thank you. (laughs) Okay, and. Uh, you were able to successfully contain uh, some of the violence. There is a dead piranha on the ground. Uh, yeah, yeah. Face melted off. Uh, he was left behind. Oh, so he, he didn't make it? No, he did not. Yeah. Well, okay, okay, I will give him a roll. Let's see, and no. Huh? Did not make that save. Hey, uh, Zed, you saw there's sewers around here, right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll throw the the dead bozo down there too. <laughs> Got a looting fest though. Yes, and then and then then we'll also use the 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 super soakers that have the acid in it to to melt the the bodies if, uh, with. I'm just gonna drop the flare down there and it can light the sewer gases on fire. Calvary's no, that would be dangerous really to us. Embracing this no longer law enforcement thing, isn't he? <laughs> uh, we should give the uh, super psycho the jinx. Maybe she can malfunction an automatic or something. Yeah. I'm collecting all the little plastic guns and all the super soakers <laughs> and everything and just throwing them all in the van. I'm collecting oh, the yeah. booze. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, guys. Uh, that's all I've got for tonight. And uh, it is time for me to go to work. Uh, adulting, Sorry. no fun. Fun, fun. Uh, thank you for joining me tonight. I had fun. Yeah, same <laughs> here. Yes. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, just follow and get those notifications. Woo! Good night. Good night. Bye.